Oh, good strong backhand there, 15 all. And she's got to go for a shot. She's, she's just not uh, the counter puncher just returning the balls because Stewart is just putting the balls away. Yeah, Rivera's known for just being a counter puncher, but just strong from the baseline. She's definitely going to have to take a little bit more initiative today with that backhand, especially looking for those short balls and pounding the ball in the open court. Lama. 30-15. It's just too good. Too powerful ground strokes to go ahead and pop that ball in the net and see on the overhead. Thirty fifteen. What an angle by Stewart. Very impressive. 40 15. I mean, you're talking pro material there. This, this girl's 12 years old. She hits that forehand whipper angle in the open court. That's just too good. Double set point for this first set of the girls' 12s championship for that coveted gold ball and a big stepping stone in these young girls' careers. Looking for stars of tomorrow. Both these girls look like they have potential. Beautiful shot up the line by Rivera. Staying on top of that baseline, not backing off and taking it on the rise and just pounding that ball right up the line. Still a set point for Katarina Stewart from Miami, Florida. And the game of first set goes to Katarina Stewart. Six love in the best of three sets. So now Christina Rivera will have to take a, some deep meditation here and try to figure out what to do and what to change here in this second set. Rivera battled to some long deuce games, but still couldn't slow down Stewart as we pick up the action at four love in the second set. Christina Rivera obviously a little bit devastated right now because not only losing, but not able to even win a game. It's got to be eating up at her right now because she's had such a good tournament. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, right now this match is headed you know, really in Stewart's direction. Uh, Rivera has to be proud of herself. Getting to the finals of this huge event, silver ball, you know, if things turn out, she does lose this match. And she really has a short time for him to get to go ahead and get ready for a doubles match. Stewart's going to have to console her a little bit and you know, tell her, listen, hey, you didn't play your best match today. Rivera, but you know we can go ahead and get a goal ball out of this doubles. Let's, let's get out of here with a maybe with a win, and uh, just really stay positive. Find a way to go in and get you know, take something out of this. Even though you know you didn't have your best match today, just she had a super week, and I hope her parents and her coach you know, relay that message to her. It's not going to be easy because she's going to be very upset, but you know, she she should be very proud of herself. Well, so there's only one champion, but there's a lot of winners here this week. That's for sure. It's not just a gold ball in the final. There's a lot of gold balls, silver balls, a lot of awards throughout the week that these players are able to achieve. And just to get to this level and to be at this tournament is an achievement in itself. Oh, yes. I mean, every single player here, they're all winners. Just to get to this level, I don't care if you lose every match, win every match here, it really doesn't matter. Every single participant here, we try to do as much as we can with the player dinners and the sportsmanship awards. Uh, we have player of the days. Just a great, great group of kids this year. It's a great recovery. Fifteen thirty, and Stewart just recovers so well. 
and puts herself in a position to slam that forehand and run Rivera all over the court. Absolutely. The difference today, Stewart's forehand. Just too big for Rivera. Rivera's forehand, she's got, she has a very good forehand, just not as big as Stewart's, so she's unable to dictate the points as well as, as Stewart has done today. Forehand by Rivera. I'd like to see that, even though she's down a set and four love, still fighting, just showing great heart and nice little forehand of her own in the open court. 30 all. Rivera's had a few games where she's had her chances, but Stewart is just not beckoned down to the pressure. 30 all. Let's see if Rivera can find a way maybe just to get a game here. And you never know. Let's see what happens. Forty thirty, a game point for Rivera. They say it's not over till the uh, the fat tennis lady sings. Is right? that what, that's what I heard? Isn't that what they said? Yeah, I heard that. And Rivera gets on to the scoreboard. Katarina Stewart came back to hold serve at 5 1 and a chance to break Rivera for her first gold ball. Even though this match was, you know, 0 and 1 or even maybe 0 and 2, the whole time Rivera stayed positive, trying to pump herself up just to get back in this match any which way, just wasn't her day to day. But she should be very proud of herself this week, fighting all the way to the finals. Yeah. Oh, there's the drop shot for the match. What a way to end it. Katarina Stewart is your girls 12 national champion in Delray Beach, six love, six one over Christina Rivera. And we'll go down and talk to the winner and the presentation of the coveted gold ball. Uh, both girls are winners today. They had an incredible week out here from the staff and the city, the mayor, the commissioners. We just want to say congratulations to both of you. Christina? Congratulations on your first USD Silver Ball. Yeah. And Katarina, a little much, a little too much firepower today. You played an incredible match, and we're very, very proud of both you girls. Congratulations. And uh, let, let's talk to our winner, Katarina. Why don't you come over here for a second? Let's talk, let's talk about the match today. Uh, you came out, this is your doubles partner, your good friend, it's always tough to play a friend, but you came out today and uh, you had all your strokes together. Talk about the match. Um, well, today I came out confident and um, most of the time she usually beats me, so I came out like trying, trying harder than I usually do. So, and I came out more aggressive than I usually play. Talk about the week for you. This week overall, you had some great matches throughout the week, but just talk about your week in Delray Beach. Um, it was good. Um, the first couple of matches were pretty easy, and then it got harder and harder when I came to the last three matches. And how's it feel to, to have your first gold ball? feels really great. <laughs> I feel like a champion now. All right. Well, thank you very much. You are a champion. Congratulations. Thanks. Katarina Stewart, your girls' 12s national champion here in Delray Beach.